Hi, and welcome to World History 2, week 24. So this week, we're going to go through the tumultuous yet transformative history of East Asia. Our exploration will span centuries of change, focusing on key events and movements that shaped the region's destiny. So from the efforts of reformers to strengthen China to the fall of the Qing Dynasty, the challenges faced by the Tokugawa Japan, and the opening of Japan to the outside world by the U.S., and the profound effects of the Meiji Restoration. Our discussion will illuminate the complex interplay of tradition, modernity, and global forces in East Asian history. <clears throat> so we'll be beginning in China, where reformers sought to revitalize the nation amidst internal turmoil and external pressures. By the 19th century, China found itself grappling with corruption, economic stagnation, and encroachment by Western imperial powers. Inspired by both traditional Confucian values and Western ideas of science and democracy, reformers advocated for sweeping changes to modernize China's military, economy, and governance. Despite their efforts, the Qing Dynasty, which had ruled China for over two centuries, eventually fell in 1911. The dynasty's decline was precipitated by a combination of internal decay and external aggression, including widespread corruption, peasant uprisings, and the opium wars with Western powers. The collapse of the Qing dynasty marked the end of imperial rule in China and set the stage for further political upheaval in the years to come. Transitioning to Japan, the Tokugawa period from the early 17th century to the mid-19th century was characterized by relative peace and stability under the rule of the Tokugawa shogunate. However, Japan faced significant internal challenges during this time, including a rigid social structure and strict isolationist policies. The Tokugawa government's enforcement of sakuku, or closed country, severely limited foreign trade and contact with the outside world, hindering Japan's ability to adapt to the changing global landscape. In 1853, the United States played a pivotal role in opening Japan to the outside world when Commodore Matthew Perry arrived with a fleet of American warships. Perry's expedition, known as the quote-unquote opening of Japan, pressured the Tokugawa shogunate into signing treaties that granted Western powers access to Japanese ports and effectively ended Japan's isolationist policies. This event marked the beginning of Japan's gradual opening to foreign influence and the er erosion of the old feudal regime's authority. Now, the Meiji Restoration of 1868 was a watershed moment in Japanese history that brought an end to the Tokugawa shogunate and ushered in a period of rapid modernization and reform. Led by Emperor Meiji and a coalition of samurai, court nobles, and Western-educated intellectuals, Japan embarked on a comprehensive program of modernization aimed at strengthening the nation and competing with Western power. Under the Meiji government, Japan underwent sweeping political changes. Uh, economic changes as well, including social and military reforms as well. Feudalism was abolished, land reforms enacted, and a modern bureaucracy was established. Additionally, the government invested heavily in education, industry, and infrastructure, laying the foundation for Japan's emergence as a major industrial and military power in the early 20th century. Now, the Meiji Restoration had far-reaching consequences for Japan and its place in the world. Internally, it transformed it from a feudal society into a modern nation-state, with a centralized government and a modernized economy. Externally, it enabled Japan to assert itself as a regional power and to compete with Western imperial powers on equal footing. However, the rapid modernization of Japan also led to rising tensions with neighboring countries and ultimately contributed to Japan's imperial expansion and involvement in World War II. Nevertheless, the major restoration remains a pivotal moment in, J in, J in Japanese history. So to conclude, 
uh, the reform effects in China, the fall of the Qing Dynasty, the challenges faced by the Tokugawa uh, Japanese rule, the opening up of Japan by the U.S., and the transformative impact of the Meiji Restoration, collectively illustrate, illustrate the complex dynamics of East Asian history. So I want to thank you for following along so far. I look forward to seeing you and working with you all this week. Thank you.